What's up, everybody? It's the one, the only Jody City on bringing you a new episode of Picking Up the Crap, my series that looks at the NPD, North American software and hardware sales for the video game industry. As usual, the hardware developers have failed to release their information, so we only have sheer estimates of overall sales. We do know that the 3DS was the best selling piece of hardware in the month of May, and the 360 was the best selling home console in the month of May. We do know that the 360 sold 114,000 systems in May, down 28% from last year. It has been suggested that the 3DS has sold the same amount or a little bit above that, but it was the best selling video game system in the month of May. The following numbers are just sheer estimates using user date information provided, but the actual position is accurate. The second best home console was the PS3 with estimates of 85,000 systems sold. Number three, the Nintendo Wii, 36,000 systems sold. Number four, Wii U, 35,000 systems sold. When it comes to handhelds, of course, the overall best selling system for the month of May was the Nintendo 3DS at 114,000 or above sold, followed by the Nintendo DS with 34,000 systems sold, followed by the PS Vita, 15,000 systems sold, and finally the PSP with 4,000 systems sold in the month of May. On the software side, I just have the order, no actual numbers. Number one, Injustice. Number two, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Number three, Donkey Kong Country Returns, 3DS. Number four, Dead Island. Number five, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, 3DS. Number 6, Metro's Last Light. Number 7, NBA 2K13. Number 8, Bioshock Infinite. Number 9, Battlefield 3. And number 10, Lego Batman 2. In this month's Golden Public, I want to cover some interesting points looking at this past month's NPD. First and foremost, with only 5 days to chart, the new multiplayer game Fused only sold, according to inside sources, 15,000 copies in five days. Now this is the game that Michael Pachter has predicted to sell 5 million copies and it's only sold 15,000 in five days. This is officially a big triple A bomb. To really put the Vita's 15,000 systems sold in May into perspective, let's look at five games released this year for the Vita and how they performed so far. According to an inside source working with Gamma Sutra, here are the numbers year to date of five Vita games, with one being just released last month. Sly Cooper, 28,000. Ninja Gaiden 2, 8,000. Dead or Alive, 5, 7,000. MLB 13, 38,000. And the newly released uh, Vita exclusive, Soul Sacrifice, only sold 45,000 in its first month. Last but not least is another bit of sales information I've gathered which cannot be confirmed as fact but still it's been suggested that on the Wii U the new re newly released games Lego Batman 2, uh, Fast and the Furious Showdown and Sniper Elite sold a combined of 4,000 copies since they released on the Wii U. This, in my opinion, is not an indication of how badly the Wii U is doing when it comes to selling software. While one is a game that is a year old, and the other two games are pretty much high quality shovelware, lacking features, and overall not being a good quality product altogether. Still, overall, when you look in the heyday of the Wii, when, when consoles were selling left and right, even shovelware sold very well, despite being shovelware. So you can definitely see that owners of Wii U's are being very particular when it comes to their purchases. Only looking for that key title or a title they feel to be of quality. Well, that's it for this month's Pick Up The Crap. Hope to see you guys soon with another episode next month. I promise you it will be on time regardless of what happens. Uh, this is the one and only Jody City On. Peace. Nightmare.